All right, so in this little project, I wanted to show you a little bit more about the radio um, and how you could actually use uh, the micro bit and the unique serial number associated with each uh, micro bit. And so uh, this is a, a chance for you to uh, explore that and, you know, again, thinking about that next step on your, uh, on your project if you wanted to add that in. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off our project with how we would usually start off our project. So we're gonna start off with setting our group number. And then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead to the more section. And so here we have this um, talking about the transmit power and the serial number. And so I'll talk a little bit about the, the serial number and then I can talk about the transmit power as well. And so the serial number um, enabled is true. And so this is a, a true or false statement. And what this means is that every packet of information that is sent will either have the serial number or not have it. And so this is where if you have a network of micro bits, so, um, you know, you're, you have one central micro bit that's collecting data from three other micro bits around the classroom, uh, you would want to have that serial number sent over. And so that way you can sort of identify that, well, this signal is from this micro bit, this signal is from this micro bit, and this signal is from this micro bit. And so, um, yes, there are other ways that you can get creative in sending that information, but if you want to have all of your uh, micro bits, uh, your sort of secondary micro bits to all be running the same code. Uh, and that way your, your primary micro bit um, is sort of gathering the information and in, then it can sort them sort it out. And so we're just going to activate it to be true. And then uh, we can just send a number along um, just to, to have it send uh, a, a value. And then what we're going to want to do is a way to sort of store this. And so uh, one way we can just create a variable or if we're dealing with multiple uh, micro bits that are out there, maybe we can go ahead and create an array. And so again, an array allows you to uh, store multiple like items. And so I'm just starting off with an empty array. And so we can call it list. I can call it micro bit. Um, details or whatever, and I can just keep track of those things. And so then what I want to do is I want to then, when I receive a number, so I can receive that number if I want to, um, but I'm more interested right now in getting that information and putting it into a, the list. Um, and so not the received number. So the received number, I can just go ahead and I can, I can uh, display that on the screen but I'm more interested in the packet value that's coming in and that packet value is the oh, here it is so at the bottom of that first one received packet um, so if you're dealing with the signal strength uh, which we'll come back to um, but I'm more interested in the, the serial number and so then what we can do is have a way of like displaying that out so um, and here I can, you know, I can change this to three. So I can see that, you know, the blue micro bit sent the signal um, to the green one and the green one sent the signal to the blue one. They urged to displaying three, which is great. Um, but the next level is I want to take this serial number. And so this has been written into the, the list. Um, but again, I don't know. I don't know that I can't see that. And so we need a way of sort of helping out to, to see that. And so I'm just going to grab this button A pressed, um, and then we can take this um, get value at, uh, or show the number at a certain value. And so where was it? Oh, here it is. So get value at zero. And so I'm just going to drag this out here. Uh, but first I need the show number. So I'm going to show that number at value of list. And so right now I know that there's only one micro bit that we're collecting data from. Um, so that's okay. But again, if you had more micro bits, maybe you would want to go through the length 
of the list to to show them or display it. So here, if I press that, so I can see the number seven one five six four seven nine zero three. So that is the unique code from the red micro bit. And so if I press this one, it will say N A because there's nothing in that array. And so what I need to do is I'll what I'll do is I, I can restart the the program. And so now, because there's the two micro bits here, they each are sending unique their unique identifier as well as the number three. So if I press that again, three one three five two one five five two. So that's the unique identifier of this blue one. And then if I go down here, I've got nine four three zero seven. Anyway, you get the point that this is keeping track of the unique serial number of each of the micro bits and so if you want a way of tracking micro bits um you could use this and then sort of write it into the list and then using some comparisons within the list of like getting the value and checking the value is this have we have we touched or or read the data from this uh, micro bit before um, and that could be an option uh, that you could think about. So that's the little project, um, and that's that's it. Uh, if you are interested in any more information about uh, Microbit, please feel free to reach out. If not, happy coding.